With this eel, ladies and gentlemen, there's something seriously wrong. Look at its left side. There's a huge bulge. If you want to find out what this bulge is or what it could be, and if you and me should feel sorry for this eel, then watch this video. So we encountered this fish during a scuba dive on Negos Island in the Philippines and look at this odd bulge and it's moving too. So why is it moving? This bulge is where the gill opening of this eel is. So you can see that on the right side, on the healthy side, there is a small hole. There's no proper gill cover in these Mora eels and on the left side you see this bulge. Now, the eel was clearly annoyed by this growth and I asked a lot of really competent fish biology friends and we are not sure. So this could be a injury which then became infected with either bacteria or viruses and then this turned into this growth or it could essentially be something like a tumor like a cancer on a fish. I don't think we can exclude this. And on top of that, this could be a reaction towards skin parasites. And then the inflammatory process in the fish turned this into this massive bulge. Now, do you feel sorry for this fish? Well, I do. I think it's out of question that it's proven that fish feel pain and uh, this includes these mori they have brain circuits in their brain stem which are not the same as in our mammalian brains but similar enough that we can conclude that fish feel pain now if somebody sees a street dog which in fact in many cases is dangerous to humans you know it's street dogs bite people and they run into motorcycles nevertheless a lot of people will be struck by the feeling of pity for the street dog whereas for a fish for many people this will essentially look like a curiosity and they will go eh but the feelings will not be the same. So why is that? It's because people are easily emotionally manipulated. And what manipulates people, people's emotions is cute looks with big mammalian eyes. And that moral here doesn't have this. And instead it has these fish eyes. Nevertheless, the pain and the discomfort in this fish is probably really similar. At, at a very basic level to what a mammal would feel and to what we are feeling. So yes, this is a really unfortunate development in the health of this fish. And I think we should have as much empathy with this fish as we would have with a dog which is running around next to the road. So here you have a school of tiny catfish, uh, not too far from the site where I filmed the eel. Now, do we have to treat each and every one of these fish as an individual? Yes, I think so. I think there is no reason to think of these fish here any worse than, you know, cat or dog obsessed people think about their pets and I think the fact that this fish doesn't provide a feel good to a human cat owner has absolutely nothing to do with the value of these animals as individuals and with the ability of these small fishes of uh, feeling pain or feeling fear when they're being fished so you know let's not be hypocrites let's not be hypocrites if we can eat fish let's not get too worked up about other cultures which might eat dogs and at the same time you know we we should uh, look at what's going on in the ocean 
and we can probably not think of these as individual personalities like humans, but each and every one of these is an individual which can feel pain and fear and which should have our respect.